know, if Dermot Leary is going to keep doing that shit, so am I. There, I looked brilliant. It's Motown week, or as Misha B would say, it's Motown Ha ha! And so Dermot comes on, forgetting his moves this week to the tune, Do you love me now that I can dance? Well, the simple response to that is, I might if you could. Outstanding work, Dermot. Gargles, Dermot. Look, I know I need to get over this, but I just can't. I'm sorry. Misha B stomps on, opening the semi-final with a savage act of vandalism of uh, dancing in the streets. <laughs> She makes the David Bowie Mick Jagger version seem like a tasteful tribute. Louis gushes, if Barry Gordy was alive, he'd absolutely sign you. Uh, well, Barry Gordy is alive, and that phone doesn't seem to be ringing off the hook. Kelly puts it down, etc., saying, I think after this performance, we'll be dancing in the street, on the top of a roof, on our way home. Rioting, in other words, it's a record-breaking performance. Uh, no, literally. How much are we loving this? A dress made of discs. Well, we might have loved it more if you hadn't smashed them up and just put them on instead of the karaoke. Uh, anyway, uh, Kelly, 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 <laughs> Kelly. Oh, oh my God, y'all are not ready for my girl. And you're obviously not ready for that introduction. Ain't no man high enough for Amelia Lilly. Talisa says, you brought Motown to life this week. Yes, because you never hear Motown anymore in films or efforts or anything, do you? My little muffins, little mix. The four muffin tops come on, but will they reign supreme? Uh, not with that little line fluff. Just my heart again. And there ain't nothing I can do about it. No, quite. And could you end the song with a token little Vogue move and a little half-hearted spurty firework? <sniffs> Thanks. Marcus bounds on and sings, I got sunshine. Pouring out of his asshole. It is him at his most granny-pleasing best. His seraphic beam makes me want to knit him a jumper. Oh, he's such a lovely young man. I'd like to make him a fish pie and put crisps out three days before he arrives. Do you want, do you want a glass of mint, Marvin? Market, sorry. Uh, Misha B somewhat tastelessly does the old joke about do you smoke after sex? Uh, what does go on backstage? It's a thumping performance though and she doesn't even ha <laughs> ha once. Amelia Lilly belts out another one in front of her big blue goatsy and Misha B's secondary smoke. Louis loves her vest. That's the vest! That's the best vocal performance of the night! To which Gary retorts, Okay, that doesn't mean much, so... And I just don't think Gary means that. I think Gary needs a hug. You okay, mate? Would you rather just cuddle tonight? Do you want one of your story tapes on? Do you want the naughty penguin, mate? Marcus Collin perseveres with his We Will Rock You stylings. Can you feel it? And Gary does his usual fisting the audience. Louis, Talisa and Kelly can't feel it. However, Little Mix return, and I've realised the nagging similarity I've been forming in my head between Little Mix's Perry and Katy Perry. Or is that just me? Um... This group is going to be so dynamic, incredibly dynamic, and change the world. She's absolutely right, of course. They've already done so much this year when you think about it. Uh, but it's time for Talisa to slap the desk excitedly. Pick up the phone and vote. You girls deserve to win this competition. And ordinarily, Talisa is not really given to being a slapper. So who are the final three on their way to Wembley? <laughs> So there we are. Do we have time just briefly to congratulate Dougie Pointer on winning I'm a Celebrity? Oh, no way. This is mad. I, let me get this straight. First I'm in a hit band and then I'm crowned king of the jungle. How mad is that? And apart from one brief moment of jumping on a table, I barely managed to open my eyes or move for three weeks. That's true, mate, but I can't say that I'm distressed that Mr. Lockjaw will come runner up, though. At least he'll get a nice cuddle. I can't pronounce L's. I don't know what's wrong with me. L, L, it's too hard, I can't, I've overtrained my jaw, I think that's what's happened. Yeah, it blatantly doesn't argue well though, does it, that outcome, for the outcome of the X Factor? No way, okay, bye.